So uh, we're here today. Uh, we have to have. You got one more. I need one. Okay, sorry. Excuse me. No worries. Uh, we have to have this by our charter and by state law. Um, every year by July 15th, we need to have it approved by city council our tax budget, and it has to be submitted to the county auditor no later than July 20th. Uh, we are here today to discuss the tax budget. Um, many of the council members who have been on the council for a while, you might see it's a totally different format yeah. than what it was before. Where you go? Good How the city did before is they essentially just did what is essentially an operating budget, where they look at every single line item and they say yes or no. That is not the purpose of a tax budget. The purpose of a tax budget, and that's what, uh, when we introduced, I gave council the ORC uh, guidelines to do a tax budget. You really want to focus on your funds that receive property tax revenue from the county. So what that tax budget does is it says, we think we need X amount of dollars. The county gets it. And then in September, around September, they'll send us a certification that says we are going to get more or we are going to get less. We take those number, then we incorporate it into our full budget. So, this is a completely different format. Um, I followed the advised formula off the Ohio Revised Code, and I also sampled many other cities how they did their tax budget. Most of them look exactly like ours. So when you look at that, we need to always focus on our general fund, regardless if it gets property tax revenue or not, which most general funds do. Uh, then you have to look at your, only your funds that receive property tax revenue. So when, for us, that is our general fund, our street improvement levy, our emergency ambulance capital, our emergency ambulance operating, our fire capital equipment, our fire operating, our health levy, and our special revenue general bond retirement. I did take the liberty to uh, take some other funds that we have. It's called the Statement of Fund Activity. Some cities had that in there, some cities did not. I wanted to add it to ours because I know our council likes to have a thorough understanding. Page. Uh, this is page 12. Mm -hmm. So those are some of the things that are just our normal fund that I just wanted to put in there so council can have an idea of when we start to talk about that 2019 budget, operating budget, some of the numbers that we're going to see. You flip to page 14. This is a list of all the capital improvements that we have scheduled for 2019. Part of that tax budget requirement is to list your capital improvements for the upcoming year, and that is simply what this chart is doing. Also part of that requirement is on page 15, and that's our debt schedule. Uh, when I made this graph, it, it was a great learning experience. We've always known what bonds we had out, maybe some debt we had out. We knew the general balance. However, what we didn't ever list is really the ordinance number and stuff like that. So this is just a really better understanding of the debt that we have, when we occurred it, and the ordinance number that authorized that debt. Another requirement is on page 16. And this is the city of New Carlisle inside and outside of levy taxes. And it basically says what we're allowed to get inside the 10 mil and outside the 10 mil limitation. Once you're outside your 10 mil limitation as your taxing district, which could include whatever the school taxes, whatever the maybe the MRDD taxes, as well as the local government tax, all that has to be under 10 mil. Anything outside of that 10 mil has to be voter approved. And that's what this chart dictates. So we have our outside the mill in the first column, inside the 10 mill, and what those, what we think it will bring in for tax year 2019. It also has the rates on it as well. On page 17, it strictly focuses on outside the 10 mil, 10 mil limitation. And it just kind of expands on what it was. And it has a little bit more detail under the file. So with the tax budget before when we did it, we'd sit here and go through line item by line. Well, then we would just turn around and wait to September and do the whole process over again because now we have to sort of file. 
numbers from the county. But that is not the way it was supposed to be done. So moving on forward out, this will be the way it's done. I will entertain any questions that council may have. Council? I have one. Sure. How long did we did we do this estimately? Well, yeah. And it seems like 2003 it was done in this format and then it stopped. We're not saying that this format didn't hit all those requirements. Okay. It was just not the format wasn't there. Okay. But we don't have our debts listed in here. We don't have our levies listed in here inside and outside coach. So when I first introduced it, it was just this. Yeah. And then that day I came in and put this as a supplement. But when I did my research, 2003 was done similar to this past 2003. I did not. But the county had always approved this. Absolutely. Okay. And what happens is if you don't get this approved, you, you lose your local government funding. So that, that line item we get for local government funding, we just wouldn't get that. It's not like you won't get any tax revenue. Uh, what I read is you just lose your local government funding. Okay. All right, council. So these numbers will change. It's just another hoop in the budgetary process that we have to go through in the state of Ohio to get to our final operating budget. So we could realistically start budgeting with September, November. December. Once we get those certified rates back yeah. from the auditor, because they can come back and say you're getting $5,000 more in, in uh, fire capital, or they can say you're getting $6,000 less in emergency ambulance operating. So we really don't truly really don't know what numbers to plug in so early in the year until yeah. we get that certification. Because every year we actually pass legislation accepting those rates. And once we accept those rates, that's when we really start hitting the ground running with our operating budget. Council, anything else for the city manager? Comments from members of the public? Very done. Mr. Bridge, you have anything else? Okay. All right. So, so we have a motion to adjourn our work session then. So move. Second. Second. All right. All right. We have satisfied their charter and all required. Thank you guys. Work session.